five million women leaving the workplace to meet those urgent needs of their families. Add to that all the crises we saw with families who had an ill family member. Who was available to stay home when someone was ill with COVID? COVID didn't come and go within days. Sometimes it lasted weeks. Sometimes it lasted months. And so families had to make that tough decision over and over again as to who would stay home. And so this economy has been forever harmed because we didn't have the basic care economy, the basic care infrastructure in place before it. If we had had different leaders, if we had had a different vision over the decades before, we would have been better prepared. But we have not had the coalition and the ability to be at the precipice of passing this care economy than we have today. We are in a unique moment in history. This has taken over 20 years of advocacy from the people standing with us today. Organizations that understand how important this family plan is. Joe Biden believes in the American Families Plan. He knows America does not recover until American families recover. And so this is fundamental fundamental to our democracy. It is fundamental to who we are. And so I know because of the work that's been put in with everyone on this stage, with everyone who's been on this bus, with everyone who's here with us today, this will get done. This is the moment when our leadership and our advocacy matters. The fact that we have the House and the Senate and the presidency is why we will get national paid leave done. It is why we will be able to create economic recovery for everyone. Now, I know we've had a big dis debate about what is infrastructure in America, but let's define infrastructure. Is that what is required to get the economy moving again? Well, I can promise you that definitely includes roads and bridges and sewers and high-speed rail and rural broadband and new IT. But I promise you also, it also includes having a national paid and family leave program. It also includes universal pre-K and affordable daycare. It includes equal pay. These are the fundamental things that allow people to get back to work, to let the economy recover. And you cannot recover without both sides, both the hard traditional infrastructure and the soft human infrastructure, the care economy that we are talking about today. And we are now on the precipice of passing this essential legislation.